The Mustard Seed Media video podcast is sponsored and created by Mustard Seed Media Inc., creating and developing media and web for tomorrow's Christian ministries. On the web at mustardseedmedia.com. Okay, so let's open up Drupal.org and let's do a little CMS magic. Okay, so let's start with this Photoshop document here and let's turn this thing into a website right down to it and edit some CSS, shall we? Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. A lot of times in Drupal, we encounter some things uh, that we find there's a million different ways to do. Uh, This is especially true with media and media handling in Drupal. I'm going to show you a way today to use something called Image Cache uh, along with Image Field to help you Uh, Really upload some defined images and use them in different parts of your site. Image cache can be confusing. A lot of people don't really know what it is. Uh, Using image field with CCK, there's just a lot of pieces to it. So I'm going to go through the whole process of setting up a CCK image field today uh, so someone can upload a file into a node, uh, an image into a node, and then have it automatically resized Uh, reshaped, cropped, whatever, uh, using image cache. It is much, much easier in the Drupal 6 versions of these modules than it was ever previously. Uh, Got some great new interface stuff. So let's dive right in and look to see what modules we're going to need to do all this. First thing we're going to need is file field module. This is a CCK uh, field uh, that allows us to upload images into CCK nodes. And the great thing is that we need image field also, but image field looks like it's now dependent on file field, which I don't believe it had been in the past. And I think this is a good move forward because file field is a, is a solid future for Drupal. So we're going to download file field, image field. We also need image API now, which is just an API that helps us do a bunch of image related stuff. And finally, we're going to download image cache. And these four modules together are going to help us build an awesome CCK uh, image workflow. So let's look to see what we have installed here. Uh, We have obviously CCK installed, and we have file field and image field installed. And then going way down towards the bottom, we have image API installed. And I'm just using the image API GD2, uh, which is the built-in image processing. And then we've got image cache and image cache UI installed. Now, uh, I would just suggest you install these in a particular order. Uh, start from the most basic to the most advanced. Start with CCK, uh, then install file field, then install image field. Uh, actually, image field and image API you have to install together. And then once everything's up, uh, then go ahead and install image cache. Uh, you just don't want anything to get confused during the, the process. So all we're going to do is we're going to add a CCK image field to a blog entry today and uh, show you how to automatically have it resize and stuff like that. So uh, All we've got is our, uh, we're looking at our content type screen, at admin slash content slash types, and we're looking at the blog entry. Uh, Let's go ahead and add a field. We're going to add an image field to it. We're just going to call it blog image. We're going to choose image as our file field type. I'm going to hit continue. (laughs) And uh, let's see if we need to change any of this stuff. We don't really. Uh, let's go ahead and save it. Uh, one note, uh, as of this recording, file field, you have to use the dev version. The official, quote unquote, official version, the beta version of file field is broken. So make sure you're grabbing the dev version. Uh, okay, so now we've got our file field image here. Let's go ahead and create a blog entry. I'm going to uh, choose an image. I'm going to put in some lorem ipsum text. And then I'm going to submit. Now what you'll see first off is that my image is right here, but it's not even showing as an image. Uh, We definitely want it to show as an image. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into our content type setting. Uh, We're going to manage the fields for the blog entry, and we're going to hit this tab up here, display fields. This is pretty easy to miss, and more and more modules these days are using this display fields section uh, to do some cool stuff. So what this allows us to do is say, grab this blog image, 
And in the teaser, how do we want it to show? Well, we want it to show as an image and same as a full node. So we're gonna save that. And now if we go back to our blog entry on the homepage, there is our awesome image um, right within our, our blog entry. But it's, it's pretty big and uh, you know, if we go to the, to the full view, we see the same thing, it's pretty big. What we wanna do is we wanna have this image automatically resized to a manageable size using the image cache module. So let's go in and set up image cache. We're gonna to go to admin slash build slash image cache. And the first thing we're gonna do is add a new preset. Each preset is a size or a set of functions that you wanna to do to a particular image. So let's say we wanna set a medium size preset uh, for our, our general viewing of the node. We'll create a new preset called medium. And then we can add some of our different actions to it. All we're gonna do is we're gonna resize or actually we're gonna scale this image down uh, so it's a reasonable size for a regular blog entry. So I'm gonna add scale. Uh, I'm gonna set the, the width of it to 100, uh, 150 pixels. And with scale, which uh, go ahead and read, uh, go ahead and read all of these actions. Make sure you understand what they all do. Uh, because for example, you might be uh, tempted to choose add resize, but resize will actually ignore aspect ratio, which will distort your image. Uh, so make sure you're reading to see what each of these things do that you want it to do. Um, so now we've, we've created a medium uh, preset just by scaling it down to 150 pixels. Uh, let's go back to our uh, content types again. Manage fields and again display fields. And what you're going to see, and this is new uh, in the latest version of image cache uh, along with CCK and image field, and this is awesome. I can now choose image cache presets right under this display field. You used to have to custom theme this stuff in your node.tpl, no longer. I can now choose medium image, which is gonna use my image cache preset. And let's go back and look at our blog entry again. Now it's not gonna look, uh, I guess it looks different. It resized it down to 150 pixels. And you'll see it did the same thing here. Uh, let's say we want a different size for our teaser than we do our full node. All we're gonna do is go in and uh, get a new preset, actually set up a new preset, which I'll just call thumb, as in thumbnail. And I'm just gonna scale it again, we'll do some easy stuff. And I'm gonna scale it down to 50 pixels wide. Now that I've saved that, I can once again go into my content types, manage fields, display fields, and now under my teaser, I can choose something different, thumb image. Now, if we go back to our home page, we can now see that our teaser view has this little tiny thumb, but if we go to the full node, it's got a larger thumbnail. Now, with image cache, you can do all kinds of stuff like, uh, like cropping. So let's say, uh, in addition to scaling, we wanna add a new action and we're gonna crop this image. Uh, our, our, after we rescaled it, uh, you can set these actions in order. So things happen, some, something happens first, then something else happens, then something else happens. So at this point, we've already scaled it down to 50 pixels. So we're gonna set our width to 100%, which will be that 50 pixels. And let's set our height to 25 pixels. And we can set our offsets, which say where should the image be positioned before it's cropped. Let's add that action. And now if we go back to our uh, homepage, we'll see that it's cropped this, it's now 50 pixels wide and it just went ahead and cropped that image down to 25 pixels. So lots and lots of flexibility, lots of awesome integration with the Drupal UI now with image cache, uh, image field, and it just makes implementing uh, sort of CCK image fields very simple, make, uh, make it so you can resize them really simple, do all of that kind of stuff right within the Drupal UI now, not as much advanced theming stuff required. That's it for this week. Uh, head over to mustardseamedia.com slash podcast and let me know if you have any thoughts or questions or ideas. I'm always looking for new ideas for the next podcast. Uh, if you have them, go ahead and leave them in the comments. We'll see you next week on the Mustard Sea Media video podcast.